Good morning, Ms. Olson, teachers and students. Please stand respectfully. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, in your infinite love and mercy, you heed the prayer of your beloved servant, Rita. You graciously grant favors through her intercession, which are considered impossible to human skill and effort. Relying on her compassionate love, we ask you to assist us in our trials and difficulties. Let unbelievers know that you are the helper of the humble, the defender of the weak, and the strength of those who trust in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For our school friends and benefactors, especially for Mrs. Castor, we offer our daily prayers. Presentation of the Lord, pray, pray for us. us. St. Rita's, pray, pray for us. us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Salute to the cross. I pledge allegiance to the cross of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To salute to the cross. Salute to the cross. I pledge allegiance to the cross, cross of, Christ. The, of Christ and to the church for which it stands, one holy, catholic, and apostolic, with grace and salvation for all. Good morning, boys and girls. I hope that you're having a good day. I hope you enjoyed the first day of Catholic Schools Week, which was Student Appreciation Day. Today we are focusing on Community Appreciation Day. And then in the afternoon we will uh, do a service project together as a school. And we will uh, prepare care packages for our homeless community. Uh, tomorrow we have our half day and uh, we have mass in the morning. We have um, a focus on our donors and it's donor appreciation day tomorrow. And so we'll be saying thank you to all those people who support the school in, um, in many ways. On Thursday, it's staff and teacher appreciation day. So don't forget to say thank you to those uh, that help you here at school. And we'll have lots of fun things happening for the teachers, just like we did for students. And then on Friday, it's Family Appreciation Day. And while we won't be inviting our families to join us in school, we'll be uh, sending them some love from the school. So thanks so much for your participation in all the fun things at Catholic Schools Week. I do have some recognition stuff. I do have some recognitions. So uh, when I say your name, please come to the office. Mason in first grade was observed being an innovative problem solver by kindly asking another student to separate so that they wouldn't have any conflict. Great job, Mason, come on to the office. Emma in kindergarten was observed being an innovative problem solver. She did her addition and subtraction problems on Freckle by herself. Awesome job, Emma, not bad for a kindergartner. Connor in kindergarten was observed being an innovative problem solver. He traced his letters with no help and finished his work without Ms. Amenta telling him what he needed to do. Congratulations, Connor. Mason, come on up here. Hold that, stand right here. Mia in kindergarten, Mia S in kindergarten, uh, was observed being a culturally competent citizen. By saying kind words to Connor, she said, Connor is having a good day. Nice job, Mia S. in kindergarten. Come on up here, Connor. Great job. Stand, turn, turn around Thanks, this Connor. way. There we go, Emma. Excellent. Mia. Excellent. Okay, we still have a few more. Anaya in second grade was observed being an innovative problem solver. Anaya did not give up on working through the math problems. Great job, Anaya, come on to the office. Annabelle in fourth grade 
was observed being an innovative problem solver. Annabelle was a huge help and innovative problem solver by helping her classmates and the substitute woman's class was out. Great job, Annabelle. And then Mia Clavero in fourth grade was observed being a collaborative communicator. Mia is a strong collaborative communicator and is always listening to others and looking at situations from different viewpoints. Great job. Come on in. And I uh, squeeze in here, guys, so you can get in the camera. Annabelle. Come on in, Mia. Great. So don't go anywhere. Let's give this wonderful group a big round of applause, everybody. Congratulations. And then before we go, it is Santiago in the C in third grade's birthday. So all of you can help us sing happy birthday to Santiago. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Santiago. Happy birthday to you. Santiago, I hope you enjoyed that lovely rendition. And Happy birthday, Santiago, and have a wonderful day, boys and girls. Great job, guys. You looked wonderful Amazing. today. Can we do a Minecraft shirt? Thanks. Check my pants. You guys want to see these little cuties?